about the impending impeachment of the president? Is there any clarity yet, if at all, that motion will get to be tabled in parliament or not? Well, Penina, news just in right now before we came uh, to this uh, live course uh, indicate that uh, the officials uh, from uh, the meeting that was supposed to take place today, that is uh, the opposition lawmakers and the Somali parliament speaker, Mohamed Usman Jawari, they have requested uh, that uh, the meeting be postponed until uh, the 10th of October because uh, the Somali prime minister, Omar Abd Rashid Ali Sharmake, is not in the country. He is supposed to represent uh, the president in uh, this uh, conference. So. Basically, the Prime Minister is not around, so the MPs have requested, uh, the Speaker and the MPs have jointly requested that the session be postponed until the 10th of October. So that is the information that we have so far so good. But opposition lawmakers have also said that uh, they will not be able to uh, allow, to, 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 to sit in this session and talk uh, with the, the Speaker of Parliament and uh, the Prime Minister who is representing the President because, one, they say that the Speaker invalidated the motion and they are totally against that. So they have said until the Speaker says that, that the motion is still on, that is the only time that they will come down to a consensus and sit with the opposition. But so far, so good. All that we have right now is that the session will take place on the 10th of October. And also, we also interviewed uh, the people on the streets of Mogadishu on the latest political crisis being experienced in the country. We went to Hammerwene, the second biggest market in Mogadishu, and filed this report. To most in Mogadishu, this is progress. Day-to-day -day life, buying and selling. Relative stability after years of conflict. So the events in parliament are causing concern. We want this issue solved through dialogue. We want reconciliation. We want our leaders to focus on 2016 and prepare this country for elections in 2016. The executive and legislature should focus on state building goals. This is not the time to focus on personal interest. We want to end this brickering and rebuild this country. Now, this is not the perfect time to impeach any holder of public office. This will plunge this country into further chaos and return Somalia into failed state status. Some lawmakers have accused the president of incompetence and corruption, a charge Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud denies. It's not clear the MPs have the majority necessary to force an impeachment. Even if the motion is given, they're all clear after Wednesday's meeting. Somalia already has impeached two prime ministers in the past two years, again following high-level fallouts. The international community has called for Somalia's political leaders to set aside their differences and focus on the country, a sentiment shared by many here. Most of the people in Mogadishu want the current momentum maintained and hope for more development in the coming years. But the current political crisis is threatening any recent gains made in the past years. Abdulaziz Bilo, CCTV, Mogadishu, Somalia. So Abdulaziz, going by the balance of power in parliament, what are the odds that the president could be impeached if the matter eventually makes it to the floor of the house? Well, Penina, according to the Somali constitution, a third of the members of parliament, that is 93 MPs out of the 275, can table a motion against the president or the prime minister. In this case, 93 MPs have tabled the motion. But if the motion is to go to the floor of the house, according to our opposition MPs want, they need two thirds, that is going to be 185 members of parliament, so that they can be able to impeach the president. Now, the opposition doesn't have uh, the 185 MPs, they just have 93. So. It's unclear whether the, mem the opposition members of parliament will try to gather momentum and gain more support from other MPs so that they can challenge the president through a vote, in, uh, through a vote of confidence in the parliament, if at all the discussion uh, being initiated by the Speaker of Parliament fails. So as far as we are concerned right now, the Somali opposition MPs, they have no power or, and they have no numbers to impeach the president if at all the motion is to go to the floor of the House of the Somali Federal Parliament. All right, Abdulaziz Bilalai for us in Mogadishu. Thank you.